Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a review on two products by LipSense. Um, one is the um, one of their colors and their matte gloss, which is basically the main thing that I wanted to review since I have done like a color before. And then I'm also reviewing um, their new foundation, um, the anti-aging one. So if you'd like to see my review on these two products, then just keep on watching. Um, the first product I'm going to be reviewing is the Advanced Anti-Aging Foundation. Um, let me just give you like a little bit of insight of what this product does, what it's supposed to do, all that good stuff. So, um, first it's full of protective ingredients that help prevent damage to the skin and works to shield from environmental hazards. Um, it's water resistant, blended moisturizers, minerals, and vitamins, long lasting color pigments. Um, that adjust to a wide range of skin tones. There are six shades um, in this line. Um, there's one cool color, four warm colors, and then one nude. It's got a great color selection. It's waterproof. It has SPF of 30 and it's oil free. In this line of lip scents, um, there's actually two different ranges of the foundation. There's like the normal foundation and then there's this anti-aging foundation. So the one that I'm actually going to be testing out today is the anti-aging one. Um, so that's the one we're going to do. And then I'm also going to be reviewing um, the lip scents. Um, this is the mattifying gloss. And then I'm going to be doing this color right here. It's called rhubarb, I guess. And it's like a pretty like corally red color. So I um, really want to try this out just because it's matte and I don't really like gloss. So I'm hoping that this works better than I did last time because I really just don't like gloss. Okay, so to get started, I've got a clean face. I've already done my um, eye makeup and my brows and all that stuff just to save time. So I'm going to go ahead and prime one half of my face. I just want to see what it, how it does with primer versus without primer. Um, so I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Master Prime Primer. Um, and I'm just going to apply that to one half of my face. I think I'm just going to do this side. And I just want to see if the product goes on better with a primer versus without a primer. So I'm just going to work that in with my fingers. And down my nose. And hopefully it covers good because I've got a little friend right there. So hopefully I'm hope I'm hoping that it covers good. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one half with a beauty sponge and then the other half is going to be with a brush. I just want to see if it applies differently. The color I have is tan and I actually have a little, this little guy right here um, just because I didn't want to take my friend's bottle from her. So I'm just going to put it on with my finger and... I'm just going to do the first half, I'm going to do the first half with the brush. So I'm just going to take my brush and work it into my skin. Oh wow, the coverage is really, really, really good. Okay, so first impression is it glides on really well. I'm just adding a little bit more because I couldn't get really up under my eye um, just because I don't want to mess up my eye makeup. So I'm going to go in with a smidge more and kind of blend that in and really try not to mess up my eye makeup. I always do this. And I'm just going to take my finger and just kind of pat it in there. So as far as coverage, um, I would say this is medium to full coverage. It pretty much covered this little guy down here. I mean, you can still see like the texture, um, but it pretty much covered all the redness that I had going on with it. 
and it covered I see I have like dark circles in it like covered them completely so as far as like coverage wise it's beautiful um, I feel like it really filled in my pores a little bit and my lines so that's awesome and the colors are not too bad actually even for being tan um because i'm really not that tan and it really it really did kind of transform to like my or adapt to my skin color or whatever so that is the side with the brush and then now i'm going to do the side with the sponge so i'm going to take my finger again and i'm just going to uh, put a few dots on my face and you guys know I like a full coverage makeup, so I may be putting a little more than I'm probably supposed to, but I like full coverage. So now I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge, and I'm just going to work it in. I'm going to take a little bit more and apply it under my eye. And right there I see a little bit of red peeking through. I kind of feel like the side with the brush actually um, gave better coverage than the sponge. And I'm just going to take my finger and kind of get it into that area that I can't really get into it with any product and I'm just kind of blending it all out and kind of getting it down my neck so I feel like the side with the brush is way better um, just because like the coverage looks better it looks more full coverage on this side and you can see on this side right here i have a little bit of my skin peeking through so i have to keep adding layers um with the sponge whereas on this side i really didn't have to do that so i would definitely put it on with a brush versus a beauty blender um if you want that more fuller coverage I missed like a tiny spot right there. Um, if you want like a more like natural looking, I guess, finish, put it on with a sponge. But if you want fuller, then just do the brush. So, so far so good. I feel like it went on very well. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer just because I want to see how this product works with other products. So I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Match Perfection concealer and I'm just going to be highlighting under my eyes like I normally would with any foundation um, so I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm just going to do both sides exactly the same and then I'm going to do the bridge of my nose and then my little forehead and my chin and I'm actually going to go ahead and put on some of my hard candy glamouflage concealer just for this guy right here just to give me a little more coverage um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it too. And then now I'm going to go ahead and take the opposite end of my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend all of this in. I feel like the concealer really blended in nicely with the foundation like it, there's no really harshness going on like there's it's blending together so that's really good um, some foundations really don't play well with others 
I mean, they do a good job on their own, but you can't really put stuff on top of them. So that's really good that you can put a concealer on top of this so you can do your highlighting. And if you wanted to like cream contour or something, you can, because it blends in very, very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with a translucent powder just because I wanna see if this oxidizes at all. So I'm gonna be taking the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, and this is just a white powder, and I'm just gonna set my entire face with it. Um, like I said, mostly because I wanna see if this is going to oxidize at all um, throughout the day. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my contouring just because it's just part of my natural everyday makeup and I don't want to change up my routine just for a review. So I'm going to go ahead because um, I really want to see if this product works with other products. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer and as you can see I've hit major pain. I love this little guy. Um, this one's in St. Lucia and I'm just going to take it and contour my face. Okay, so I've got it pretty well blended, except like it kind of is catching in some spots with the bronzer, um, but you're really just going to have to blend it in just to make sure you get it even. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically wear this foundation for at least six hours and then come back and see how much is left on my face. If it's waterproof and all that stuff, um, I'm really gonna test it out today. I'm gonna go for a run, and it's really, 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 really hot outside, so I'm going to be like sweating and stuff, and I just wanna see if this comes off at all, um, just because it's supposed to be water resistant. So we'll, we'll try that out. Okay, so now on to the lips. I'm gonna be doing, like I said, the um, rhubarb and the matte gloss, and I'm actually gonna test these at the same time, so um, I'm going to be wearing all of this for six hours at least, and come back and see where we're at. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rhubarb first, and basically what you're gonna do is you apply, you can't like cross over, like you need to do one, one, and one, or whatever, whatever, works better for you, um, but just don't know swiping is what I've been told several times. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna let this dry. So I'm taking my Carly Bible palette and letting it dry. Okay, so it's pretty dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on another layer. I just went back.
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put on the final coat. My mouth's kind of sticky still. Hopefully I don't screw this up. I don't know how long I'm supposed to let it dry, but I'm gonna make sure it's really dry. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the matte gloss. Yeah, it's starting to feel better now. So it just looks like this, so basically it looks just like the glossy gloss apparently. And I'm just going to be putting this on. Oh wow, we made it like completely gloss on that side. <laughs> and you can tell it's dry because there's nothing on the little applicator that I just put the glossy gloss on. That's awesome. It almost feels like a liquid lipstick. Like once you get like the glossy gloss or the matte gloss on, um, that's exactly what it feels like. It feels really, 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 really smooth and all that stuff. I like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the test of truth, and I'm gonna kiss my basically my notes and to make sure that it see if it transfers or anything like that. So. You see me? And there's nothing on there. <laughs> That's so cool. So this is the color. And I gotta put more gloss gloss on now since or matte gloss since I totally just took it all off. The gloss will transfer, not the color. And I really, really, really like the color as well. The only thing that I don't care for with this product is that it's really hard to get your lips lined up straight um, because you can't cross over again. So it's kind of like you gotta do it really, really, really slow. So that's the only problem I have. Um, so this is the final look. I'm gonna be wearing this for six hours at least um, and I will be out there sweating and all that good stuff. So. I'm gonna run some errands, get all that stuff done, and then I'll be back and I'll do the final thoughts and we'll see how the product held up during the day. So, um, I'll see you guys shortly. Hey guys, so I'm back and it is officially six o'clock p.m. So I've had this makeup on pretty much for uh, over six hours <laughs> so um, I just kind of want to show you guys an update of everything that I think about the makeup and then how it held up and all that good stuff so um, as you can see I still have like a full face of makeup on um, the makeup really didn't move at all um, I went for a run I've been doing some cleaning I ran some errands um, I've eaten twice and my lip stuff is still on I have not reapplied any of the gloss stuff or anything like that so um, the makeup held up really well um, I as you can see I didn't really get shiny or anything and knowing that I have really um, combination oily skin um, so that's like a big plus for me because I love 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 matte foundation because basically every 
dewy foundation just ends up looking oily. So um, it held up really well. I did have some spots um, where I really like wiped my face when I was sweating um, that it kind of came off a little bit, but um, as you can see, it's still on my face. So I'm so happy that this worked out um, and the lipstick stayed on like no issues. I've eaten literally like a pe like pizza and like all kinds of stuff and it literally has not moved. So I have to say both products get a thumbs up from me. Um, the original does have a lot a wider range of colors um, so if you have trouble finding whichever shade you are in the um, anti-aging try it out in the other. I'm just really happy that it stayed matte on my face and did not come off and my lip stuff stayed on like it's just crazy like I could just like and nothing so and it stayed pretty um, mattifying um, but you can see it kind of got a little bit of shine coming through so it, more or less it's not real like the i feel like the matte gloss doesn't really make it completely matte after this wears off um so it's still okay like i like it way better than the glossy glossy gloss because i really don't like that sticky texture on my lips um so i really 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 enjoyed this a lot um so as for me, uh, my opinion is both products are a go for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.